In the past three decades, one third of the Earth's natural resource space has been consumed. The U.S. uses 5% of the world's population, yet we use 30% of the world's population resources. <laughs> if everyone consumed as much as we did, we need three to five planets. In the U.S., 4 billion pounds of toxic chemicals are released from factories. On average, each person makes about 4.5 pounds of garbage each day. So what does this all lead to? A high, high ecological footprint. footprint! Yo dog, what's an ecological footprint? You don't know what an ecological footprint is? Don't stress me, homie! Well, if you didn't know, an ecological footprint is a measure of the Earth's demand on the Earth's ecosystem. So what can we do to prevent this? We're doing some of these suggestions. You can recycle! Instead of taking the car, you can walk or ride the bus. You can eat healthier meals. Amy! Eat this, not this! Bad apple. You can take shorter showers. Shani! Your showers are too long! You can help the environment by planting a plant. Ew. She's planting water. Plants need water. Ew, I'm wet. And you can reduce your use on paper goods. Shannon, what are you doing? Use these. Oh. Yeah. You can also turn off any ACs or fans you use while sleeping. Environmentally friendly cleaners. Amy! That's not environmentally friendly. Look at the face. Use this. This oh. is environmentally friendly. Yeah. By doing all these things, it can help benefit our environment and help us maintain a low carbon footprint. Or sustain our earth. If we all keep being green like this, we'll all be fighting for the Earth's future.